I ran into a problem. I don't want you guys to have to run into the same issues that I did, so I'm telling you this today. So today we're going to go over three things, the what, the why, and the how. It'll make sense in a second, I swear. First, we're going to talk about the problem. So it recently came to my attention that I need to talk about some of the accomplishments that I have because I need to build trust. Trust is a very big thing when it comes to sales and sales is in every single business. So I think this is really important. That being said, I can't remember all the things that I did over the past seven years of my career. Problem, which brought me to this solution. This is something that I wish I did sooner and it would have absolutely saved me from this problem. So you need to document all the accomplishments that you have achieved, no matter how big or small. The bigger the better, but all of them because they all play a part in this at some point at a later date. Step two. Why? When you have all of your accomplishments on one page, and you can look at all the things that you've achieved. It really helps combat the imposter syndrome that tries to tell you that you didn't actually do the work that you did. Number one. Number two, it reminds you of all the skills that you have that might be a little dormant right now, but you can also rehone them and sharpen them up a little bit with a little bit of practice, like just a little review, a little run through, and you'll be amazed at how many different things that you remember how to do, despite how many years it's been. All of those can be kind of rekindled and used at will. You just need to remember that they exist so you can use them with the problems that you have at hand. And number three, once you have this entire list of your accomplishments and all the things that you've taken care of and all the things that you remember, it helps you when it comes to selling yourself and validating that you know what you know to a client or reassuring an interviewer that you actually know what you're talking about. And as a bonus, it also helps you remember all the different things that you've done in the past when it comes to trying to find new business ventures. All of these different things that you have done and you've completed, you can look back at those and be like, okay, well, what problems did I run into in any of those sections? And how can I solve those problems? And more importantly, how can I monetize that for someone else or to someone else, more importantly? So now we're going to get down to the how. The easiest way is to jot these things down as you accomplish each of the things and just put them in a Google Doc. It's really simple. It'll take five minutes. And because it's online, you can review it at any point and it doubles as an assistant if you ever have to go put all the things that you've done in the past in a resume. Tidbit, the easiest way to learn something really quickly, do it as your job. You can double down on it at home if you so please, but you'll at least know that you'll have eight hours a day to actually practice the skill you're trying to learn. Now, the how. When it comes to the how, you're typically going to want to follow a four-piece framework. This is really simple. Do not click away. Trust me, it'll make sense. The internet calls it the star framework, but I like mine better, so we're going to go with mine. The SPAR framework. S-P-A-R. S. Situation. What happened? Tell what the problem was, why you were called in, that kind of thing. Number two is problem. Tell why the bad thing is actually bad. Think worst case scenario. Think who it affects. Think what insert bad thing here could have happened if you didn't take care of the actual thing three is action what did you do to fix the problem just take down what you did and bonus point add in the frequency so if you had to meet with people say you met with those people on a certain xyz say every xyz you had to do abc that kind of thing and lastly r result as a result of your actions x happened because you did a b was the result that kind of thing just you really want to hone in on the impact and why the thing you did was a good thing the end so remember that spar s-p-a-r solution problem action result i really wanted to put this out because this was a problem that i actively ran into and i feel like this is something that is really important and that you can use in multiple different places in your life most importantly it helps you remember what you're capable of and that is one of the most important pieces of all these accomplishments in the first place so I hope you found value in that. If you know someone that you feel could benefit from hearing this conversation, do me a favor and send it to them. I really want to reach as many people as possible so that we can actually learn the things that will make us truly successful in life rather than the things that we were taught and kind of slid past. So do me a favor, send this to one person, and I'll see you tomorrow. This is Day 15, Matthew Holland, signing off.